It's Plymouth Art Weekend of 2018, and I'm with Martin Bush in Stonehouse, the Royal William Yard. Hello, Martin. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, it's been about two years since I last spoke to you. Is it that long? My That's goodness. Good. Right, OK. So, what have you been doing with this song? <laughs> I've, been, I've been hiding in my usual space, painting and creating and, you know, running a business as an artist type thing. That's yeah. what I do. It's what I do best. And you're still in the Royal William Yard in Plymouth? I am, I am, and uh, delighted to have two extra little rooms for this uh, Plymouth Art Weekender. Yeah. Um, and it prompted me to what would I display. And uh, I just suddenly thought, I've got some big old canvases such as this one here. First canvas I ever did in the William Yard. Yeah. Uh, 14 years ago. My word. And as a painter, I've been making my living at it for 20 years. I thought, 20 years as an artist, great title. And I, it morphed into this two, three room exhibition. The time flies, doesn't it? it? Well, yeah, 14 years, you're thinking, I must be looking old as well as getting old. It's a um, bit of a change, actually. But you, you just realise age is just a number. Yeah. You just get on with it, you it's know. It's an obsession with a lot of people. How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, people find out how old I am when they ask me a painting I say I did yes last week. They ask me how long did that painting take? I say 53. Yeah. And they, look, <laughs> they look at me gormously. I said, yes, I'm 53. Cool, nice one. <laughs> what are you doing well for 53? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I've always had a young face or a fat <laughs> face, not sure which. Yeah, cool. So let's have a look around. What are we going to hear? Well, actually, next to my uh, big first painting in the William Yard, which is uh, Colour Rhythm. Is this the Buddha? The, is my last painting, my most recent painting, is my Buddha, City Buddha, as I call it. So I painted last, a few weeks ago. Yeah, I like the colours in it. And I just, yeah, yeah I get very emotional about my work, I know. But that I just can't stop looking at. I don't yeah. want to sell it, you know, it's one of those... I mean, it's spiritual and it's the cheerful marks and, and the movement time, isn't it, with all those colours. Yeah, and I, when I paint, it's very subconscious. So yeah. I love it when something happens from that, and you know that it's, it's bang on. You know, it's got that. It's got everything it needs in it. And actually, I was painting the statue, and what I found when I painted it, because there's a statue of Buddha you see everywhere in Thailand, um, what I painted was the human. Yeah. Not the statue. And that was a revelation. That was kind of way. That is. Ooh, I painted him there for actually I think the king's of, son, who was the renowned Buddha yeah. in India, obviously not I think in a lot Thailand. Of people that see a Buddha have a revelation. I don't know. Do they? <laughs> I'm not them. Cool. So what, what's this in the corner here? And uh, well, well to start with, my bling pigs. I like your bling. Which have been great. That was part of my exhibition last year, which was all about my Thai temple, yeah. you know, dual temple series, as I called it. Yeah. So in the gold leaf and the excitement of the colours. I've never seen you wear a tie. Uh, 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 <laughs> so, T H. Oh right. Okay. A I. Yeah. Okay. And for example, these ones are quite interesting. Yeah, the third really, one I'm going to show somewhere else. They're really colourful. Yeah. Um, this is the first letter of the Thai language. Yeah. I decided I want to put the symbols in. And that's, um, uh, get me, Gu Gai Temple. Now, yeah. Gu Gai is the first letter in the alphabet, as I said, and it means chicken. Yeah. Then this one here is the fourth letter of the alphabet in Thai, which is this shape here, Gu Kong, which means human. Yeah. Now, the important one that's missing, which is the one in the middle, <laughs> is on the show of the other uh, identity fashion shop, uh, is uh, Gu Kai, yeah. which means egg. Cool. And then the whole series of work flowed from that. Chicken and egg, what came first? Human, yeah. perhaps. Um, <laughs> Do you go to Thailand? Every year, if I can, yeah. yes. I'm okay. working hard now to sell some more art so I can afford the plane flight and have a lovely go? time. How long do you go for? As long as I can. I three weeks. To to Thailand, it's about three weeks usually. Yeah. Six weeks is, it wears me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get back home. Um, one day I will live there, perhaps. Do I don't you speak know. language? Not enough. Yeah. No, I use my wife for that. She's very good at sort of speaking Thai, actually. She's yeah, Thai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she teaches me and then I forget. Is she from Thailand? Yes, of course. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've taught me so much in life. So you've got close ties to her relatives? Yes, yes. Well, I like have a family there. You, you missed know. that line. Huh? You missed that line. I did miss that line. Close ties to the relatives. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll go there. I'm being too silly. You're fine. That one's, uh, yeah, 2011 Fusion Seas. Uh -huh. uh, just in celebration of colour, the blues, people love the blues. 
Um, but it's quite stormy. I quite enjoyed the stormy. And I was making these marks yeah. through, scribing through. It was a very experimental kind of piece for me. Uh -huh. You know, it had a sense of where am I going to next. You're prolific, aren't you? Well, I like painting, yeah. you know, and, and, and I've got time. So I don't have another job like just others. Go, just go to your main room and have a Yes, call. please what follow through. Follow through. Excuse the people, we're busy today, which is great. Reverb. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. And oh, I just love putting these paintings in here. Yeah. What a beautiful white space it is. And the people who own this, this space and kind of lent it to me. Um, have said I might be able to keep it a bit longer yes. for my exhibition. Um, I think that's a go. And uh, because they've seen it and gone, wow, this looks great. And it's nice. This was about getting my old canvases out. Yes. I haven't been seen for five, six years, most of them. What's this one? And revisiting them. Now, now that, that is the, if you like, the I call my sister or brother, my sister, to my sitting Buddha. Yeah. I did at the same time. Now, that has a funny story because. I thought, right, I'm going to paint the Buddha's face. But what happens when I paint? I don't think, I don't calculate, I just kind of let it happen. Subconscious, yes. whatever you want to call it. And I stood it up just after nearly completing it, let's say, and I stood up and went, oh my God, it's my wife again. <laughs> and it is, anyone knows my wife, that's how, I say that's how she looks, don't get me wrong, but is the she, features, the cheek, the hairdo, the eyes, cool, they're she, all there. Is she cool about there. that? <laughs> so that, that's also obviously a very, very special painting to nice. me. What, have got some of the other rooms? There are some other things in the other rooms, yeah, of course. This one is uh, painted in 2007. I've noted all the paintings with a clear symbol of what year I painted them. Yeah. In fact, over here, before we go through there, quickly, these two have never been on the display before, uh -huh. but note the date. Picasso. 1998. Yeah. I lived in Thailand then, yes. and I started painting then. So these ones are not for sale unless you're very rich Oops. and want to make my day. But um, mm -hmm. I will revisit this series again, but I haven't done anything else like it since. So, so they're 20 living? years old. How long were you living in Thailand for then? I was there nine months yeah. in total. So you must have come straight from Thailand to come here, because I... It, Six years in Wales, actually, and I've been in Plymouth 15 years. Northern Wales or something? South Wales, yeah. Tinton, Tinton Abbey. Yeah. So my, I, my birth of my practice as an artist, let's say, was in a valley, yeah. surrounded by Wales. trees. And men and men and sheep are scared. There you go. I could see England from where I lived, though, so I felt safe uh, on the other side of the river. So, yes, and then come through this room where they've got actually some just nice isolated pieces it's so lovely to put out for a change again where there's one painting on the wall yeah. might look better with a bit of light um, and having fun of putting up uh, a few little trinkets like my painting on frames yeah i love it i don't know what to do with it yet but i love this piece oh, it, you can just buy that i reckon you just put it around your head you know um, <laughs> it's in the window yeah they're always nice to have these little extra things mm. There's another lovely little one in there, that room. See that, yeah. Oh, it's all about seeing the journey from start to finish yeah. of my work. What's this one? And well, that one, as I call it, it's sort of one of a kind. There's only one like it. Yeah. Mother and baby. Just enjoy that. I just remember enjoying that painting. It's never been on show before. Uh -huh. um, 2014. It wasn't that old. Um, but there's marks. I like looking at the marks I've made. And then I use those marks somewhere else again on the next painting or series. Views as well. Views are nice. And then sort of finally ish, the two back rooms are on the painting that I did in Wales. And uh, I generally haven't been on show that much in Plymouth. Uh -huh. And uh, I've let people know they'll have to come visit how I paint these. It's written on the sheet. Don't film that bit. I want them to come here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the two lovely ones here also. That's nice one. And uh, yeah, they go back 2005, 2003. Yeah. The last of a big series that I've sold all the best. So you just finish up in your main hall again? Are yes, you? yes. In your office room? In my office. Okay. You've scared everyone off again. Amazed. We've scared them all off. <laughs> right, yeah, so this is the main. 
pub, as I call it. This is where it all happens. They're all nice, bright and vibrant colours. Yes, yes. Um, I, my art installation piece would be a light box above the door that would light up with the words wow <laughs> yeah. every time someone rocks around the corner and goes wow because nine times out of ten that's what I get out of people when they first see this room yeah. with its uh, uh, what's that expression? What did you think of Robert Lankovic's work? Well his work was totally different obviously to what I'm doing and but he was prolific like I'm, you. I'm, was he more prolific than me? I don't know. No, 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 not saying more prolific. Yeah, I said he was prolific. Like, yeah, sure, yes. Yeah, yeah. say the same thing. Yeah. Oh, we all, we all love Lanky. We love his storyline, you know, and his eccentricity. You know, eccentricity, really. I never met him, unfortunately. You haven't got any bodies hidden away anywhere, then? I'm... I'm so, yeah, no. <laughs> his, his world was a million different, you know, a million miles away from mine. Yeah. Oh, My way difference. of thinking in life. Yeah. I'm the 21st century artist, he's the 20th century artist. Yeah. That's what I like to say. <laughs> sort of thing, you know. So what's your website again? Martin Bush? Martin Bush, uh, I'm at the Royal William Yard. Yes. In the guard house, on the left as you come through the gate. Um, open for this whole weekend, obviously. And then thereafter I'm open with the other rooms. Uh, not Monday, I'm going to have a day off. And then thereafter, um, you can find my information on my website, www.martinbush.co.uk. Thank you very much. Nice to catch you. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely, Thank Lovely you. to see you. Don't forget to Google Martin Bush Art. Plymouth Art Weekender 2018. You can find these Plymouth artists on Plymouth Art Weekend on Facebook. This has been a Crystal Field video 2018. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay upon me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. Stop, stop, stop.